Okay, question number 1a. Expand 5 open brackets x add 3. So to expand a bracket, it means to multiply everything inside the bracket by the number on the outside. So we've got to do 5 lots of x and 5 lots of 3. So 5 times x is 5x and 5 times positive 3 is add positive 15. So there we go. You can put a little multiplication on the arcs if you find it helpful, but 5 lots of x and 5 lots of 3, everything in the bracket has been multiplied by 5. For the next question, we're asked to factorise. Now, factorise means put into brackets. So I'm going to do 8 on the outside. Now, the reason I'm doing 8 on the outside is because 8 is the biggest factor it's the biggest number that goes into 8x and goes into 24. So I want the highest common factor of both terms. The highest common factor of both is 8, so that goes on the outside. And then I need to think 8 times what is going to give me 8x. So I'm going to need an x there, so that 8 times x makes the 8x. And then I'm going to need to put plus, and then 8 times what gives me 24. So 8 times what is 24, that is 3. So this is now factorised, and if we were to multiply it back out, if we were to expand that bracket, we should get 8x add 24. So these two questions are the opposite of each other. Question number 2a is to expand 2x open brackets 5x minus 7. So exactly the same thing. We're going to do 2x times 5x, and then 2x multiplied by minus 7. So 2x times 5x, 2 times 5 is 10, and then when I have x multiplied by another x, that gives me x squared. And then I've got 2x multiplied by minus 7. Now 2x times minus 7 is going to be 2 times 7, which is 14. And then I've just got that x as well. So that's going to be minus because I'm doing a positive multiplied by a negative. And so my final answer is 10x squared minus 14x. Don't be fooled into thinking you can put those terms together. You can't because they're not like terms because one's got an x squared and one's got an x. Okay, question uh, part B is to factorise again. So here we are putting into brackets. We're looking for the highest common factor of both terms. And the highest common factor is 5. And then we haven't got any letters in common here. Just the 5 is the highest common factor. So that's going to be 5 on the outside. And then I'm multiplying that by 3y add 4. So for the numbers on the inside, I'm just thinking 5 times what is going to get me 15y and 5 times what is going to get me the 20. I knew it had to be a 5 on the outside because that was the biggest number that goes into both. And then 5 times 3y is 15y and 5 times 4 is 20. So there we go. That's now factorised. We've put it into a bracket. We're just working backwards from expanding. OK, now quite often on a GCSE paper, you'll see this factorise fully. Now, that's a little bit of a clue that there is more than one thing that can come outside the bracket. So when we're factorising, we need to think about the biggest thing we can take outside, the highest common factor. So, for example, both of these have two as a common factor, both of these terms. So you could put two outside a bracket, that would be able to work, but we want to take as much outside the bracket as we can. Now, in this case, the highest common factor, we got six in common. Six is a, is a bigger number that we've got in common than two. I've also got X in common because they both have an X in their terms. But, oh, and they both have a Y, fantastic. Okay, so we can take that outside the bracket. So six they have in common, X they have in common, and Y they have in common. Now to multiply this to make 18 X squared Y, I'm gonna to need to times the six by three. I'm going to need to times the X by another X. And then because I've already got a Y out here on the outside, I don't need to multiply the Y by any more Ys because it's just Y in this term up here. Then I'm going to put minus, and then 6xy times what would get me 12xy? Well, I'm just going to need 2. I've already got the x, I've already got the y, I just need to make that 6 into a 12, so that's going to be 2. So my final answer is 6xy, 3x minus 2. Okay, great. Question number four, expand the brackets. So we're doing what's on the outside times the first thing, what's on the outside times the second thing. So 3e times another e is 3e squared. And then 3e times minus 7 is minus 21e. I'm doing the 3 times the 7, and then I've also got the e as well. But remember, the e times the e, that's why you've got e squared. e times e is e squared. They're not like terms. We can't put them together as such. They just have to stay like that. 
Okay, now we've got to expand and simplify two brackets and we're doing eight lots of the first bracket and then we're adding on three lots of the second bracket. So I'm doing eight times x and eight times minus seven, which is eight x minus 56. And then I'm doing three times two x and three times one. So that is six x add three. So then I've got like terms. I've got eight lots of x and I've got six lots of, lots of x. And that's going to be 14x altogether. This is where the simplify part comes in. I've expanded the brackets, but now I need to simplify by collecting any like terms. And then I've got minus 56 and I'm adding 3. Now, if you're starting at minus 56 on a number line and you're adding 3, you're coming 3 up towards 0. So that's going to get you up to minus 53. And that's your answer for that one. OK, question number 5a, and we're going to expand 5x multiplied by 2x squared minus 3y. So to expand this bracket, I need to do 5x times 2x squared. Now let's break this down. 5 times 2 is 10. And then I've got 5 times 2 is 10. And then I've got x multiplied by x squared. Now x is like x to the power of 1. And we looked in the other video that when we multiply powers, when we multiply x's, we add the powers. Okay, so x to the power of 3. I've got x squared, which is x times x, and then I'm multiplying that by another x, and that's going to make x cubed. Okay, so I've got 10x cubed for that term, and then I'm doing 5x times minus 3y, and that's going to be negative 15xy. 5 times 3 is the 15, and then I've got x times by y, which gives me that, and that is now expanded. Again, we can't put them together because they're not like terms. Factorise fully. So again, we're looking for more than one thing that can come outside the bracket here. The highest common factor of 24 and 12 is 12. So that's out coming outside. They don't have e's in common because the second term doesn't have an e, but they have got f squared in common. They both have an f, but they both have f squared and we always want to take the most outside that we can. And then that's going to need a 2 here because 12 times 2 is 24. We'll need an e to get the e in this term, and we'll need another f to make it f cubed. Minus, and then for 12 times something to make 12, it just needs to be 1. But we don't often use 1 in algebra. Um, we just would write the letter. I'm going to need um, no more f's and no e's. So it is, I'm, I'm going to need a 1. I'm just going to need to put 1 there, so that when I do 12f squared times this, I get 24ef squared, and then 12f squared times minus 1 to just get minus 12f squared. So that's your final answer. That was quite a tricky one. Um, 2ef minus 1. Good. Next question. Question number 6. Expand 7m times 2m. Oh, let me try it again. Expand 7m, open brackets, 2m minus 5. So I'm doing 7m times 2m, which is 14m squared, and then 7m times minus 5, which is minus 35m. So 14m squared, minus 35m. To factorise means to put into brackets, we need the highest common factor, and that's going to be 9. So 9 times what is 9y? That's a y. Add, and then we need 5, so that when I do 9 times y, I get 9y, and 9 times 5 is 45. So 9y add 5. Good. Question number 7 is to expand this bracket. I'm doing 2c times c, which is 2c squared, and 2c times 3, which is 6c. And that's your final answer. Can't put them together because they're not like terms. Now, 5 times 2h is 10h, and 5 times minus 3 is minus 15. Here is where you need to be careful. We are doing minus 3 times h, which is minus 3h, but we're then doing minus 3 times minus 2, and a negative times a negative is a positive. So I've got 10h, take away 3h, which is 7h, and then I've got minus 15, add 6. Now that's going to come 6 up towards 0 from minus 15, and that's going to get us to minus 9. Question 8, expand the bracket, so 4m times 2m is 8m squared, and 4m times minus 5 is minus 20. 8m squared minus 20. And factorise fully, so I can take 13 outside the bracket, but I can also take x outside the bracket. That leaves me with a y in the first term, add, and then I'm going to need 2 to make that 26x. So 13x, y add 2. Question number nine, expand m times m is m squared and m times n is mn. 
we tend to write it in alphabetical order, but if you put NM, it wouldn't be wrong. When we times two letters together, we just put them together and then factorise 18Y add 27. So yes, they're both in the three times table, but nine is the highest common factor here. And then that's going to be 2Y add three. I don't know why I'm writing it in the space and on the answer line every time, but I just feel like I need to. Okay, question uh, 10 is to do 3K times 8K, which is 24K squared, and then 3K times minus one, which is minus 3K. Again, can't put them as one term because they're not like terms, so they'll have to just stay like that. And then we've got four times X and four times minus three, which is four X minus 12. And then 2x add 7, which is 2x add 14. And so that all together is 6x, because I've got the 4x and the 2x. And then I've got minus 12, and I'm adding 14, so that's going to come up past 0 and end up at positive 2. Next question. 9xy times 4x squared. Let's just do each bit in turn. So 9 times 4 is 36. x times x squared is x cubed, and then I've got the y. And then I'm going to do 9xy times minus 5y, which is minus 45xy squared. Well done if you got that. Another very tricky one. I'm just going to say that. Okay, and factorise fully. So let's take 2 outside the bracket. That's the highest common factor of 10 and 8. We can also take f outside the bracket and we can take g outside the bracket. So I've got 5 in the first um, position. I don't need to multiply by any more f's because I just have f here. But I need g cubed to make g to the power of 4 altogether. And then minus 4, I'm going to need another f and I don't need any more g's. So that's it. Very tricky. And question 12, I think it's the last question. 5m times 3n is 15mn. And then 5m times 5 is going to be at minus 25m. And then last one, factorise. What have they got in common? Well, the highest common factor is 5. 5 times what is 15? That needs to be 3 minus 5x. Well done if you've got those. And let me know in the comments if you've got any more questions. Oh,